Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Um, time to get on with some paintings again. So, I've got quite a few lined up for you. Um, I've got um, one here, which is a what we call a pen and wash technique. I've got another one, a uh, pen and wash, which we'll try and do after this. That's a super one, you'll enjoy that. Um, I've also got a sunset, and I've got a Scottish um, Highland scene, which we can have a go at later on. So, what I've done here is, um, I'll just take this down a bit, you'll see that I've made a quick um, pencil sketch of the the painting up there and what we what you should do what I think you should do is just um, try and pause the video and use this to make your sketch before we start um, the, the techniques called pen and wash but um, there's been some debate um, and basically you, it's difficult to decide what, what's better to go for pen and wash which means basically you get your pen out put in all the detail and then fill it in with the paint or do you put the washes in first and then start to put the, the detail in I really went for a half and half system as you can see here, just going to zoom out a bit. What I mean by that is, I would sketch this in with the pen, but I wouldn't be putting all the detail in. And then I'd put the washes in, let it dry, and have a look at it and think, right, I need to maybe add one or two little bits just to finish this off. So see, you can try pen and wash, wash and pen, or you can try the half and half method. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fill in with the permanent pen. This is permanent, remember. Most of the outline for the, the buildings and a bit for the tree. And then we'll um, add some uh, washes. So here we are, I've got my pen and I'm just going to start with the building. So I'm going to start with this one here and uh, put some lines in. Now. now you'll see that I'm purposely not having uh, straight lines. I'm adding little bits for the stonework in. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of stones in there just to see what that looks like. This one here. And put a bigger stone there and some smaller ones. Yeah, I've got this roof. some buildings down the side, some stones as well. I'm just going to uh, speed this up a bit here. You'll be able to watch me doing the, the sketch and you'll see that um, I'm trying to add a bit of character as I mentioned earlier rather than just have straight lines. Try to you know, paint in, or oh, sorry, draw in where you see the buildings, the stones sticking out, um, bits of grass, and I'm just trying, as I say, give it a bit of character. And finish off, there's a wall across here, so I'm just going to put them up just to. Remind me where it'll be because this is grass and this is grass, and I think that will do. Right, so that's the painting, sorry, the sketch, um, basically finished just now to get started with. Um, I'm just going to put some lines to suggest that tiles there as well 
Ne, on to je. Ok, so I'm going to start off with the sky. Just going to get some blue, cobalt blue. And just drop some bits in. I'm just going to get some water and uh, dab some of that out just to suggest bits of clouds. Right, so we'll just let that dry. That's not too bad. Piece of paper towel just to take some of these bits out, but. Um, that's okay. So you can see that was fairly quickly done. Just going to leave that. Okay, so that's the sky in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mix up a, a summer green colour for the grass here. Just let you see that again. You've, you've seen this plenty of times, but just in case. So it's cadmium yellow and a little bit of Windsor blue a little bit. And back to the painting again. So right, let's get that grass in. And there's a bit along here. And just protecting the the wall, which uh, in the front there. Right, that's not too bad. I'll do it. Right, while I've got that green there, I'm just going to um, mix up some more and put the, the tree in. Uh, now, what I want to do is have the light coming from the left hand side, so We'll have them some shading on the right here. But anyway, I'll just um, use that green for the tree, trees, and some bushes there, and some bits of bushes here. Right, that'll do for that. Right, what I'm going to do next is paint the um, the buildings, the st stone coloured buildings and um, I've had a mix up and just let you see I use a mixture of that yellow ochre colour and I found that if you um, add seldom use this colour but here's a bit when I use Payne's grey and you put that in and you get this lovely stony colour. And I'm just going to, that's too strong to put on, I'm just going to reduce the value of that by adding water. And I'll start to paint in the buildings. So, as I said, I I'm, have the light coming this way, so these bits will be in the, the shade so I'm just going to paint right over that bit uh, down here I'm going to paint over all that wall uh, this bit in the front and this bit here and this bit there as well Right, so that will do for that. Uh, I could use some of this colour as well for the the wall. I'm not going to fill it all in. I'm going to leave some white bits, as you can see. Be quite handy later on. There we go. Um, what I think I'll do now is I'm just going to darken, strengthen that colour a bit. 
adding a bit more grey and a bit more yellow ochre and we'll get a darker colour which we can use for the side of the buildings that are in the shade so let's just see what that turns out like yeah that's not too bad oh <laughs> that's the paper that I'm using to dab the colour out sometime just going to do the same here this one here Lastly, this one. Right, there we are. Now, what we got to do? Right, what I could do with some of that dark I had. Just put that in there to suggest stones. And some of these stones that are in the the wall and in the buildings. I'm going to put one or two more in, which uh, I can uh, use the pen to fill in later. So what we've got to do now is the, um, the roof. So most of them, well that one will be in the light, some of that one, this one will be slightly darker, same with that one. So. I'm going to use uh, that Payne's grey colour. Never really used much of that. Just going to let you see what I'm doing here. Um, and I'm going to add some cobalt blue to that to give it a warmer grey colour. Let's test it out. Yeah, that's quite nice. I've just tried a bit on the top of that roof there. So, as you can see it's a nice bluey grey colour. And I'm going to do that one. I'm just going to let you see that piece of towel. You wonder what I'm dabbing up there. When I pick the paint up here, the brush, there's sometimes too much um, paint just on the point. So what I do is I just dab it there take it off and I'll just put some up here finish this bit off and as you can see I'm leaving some white bits uh, which um, I feel it um, helps it just gives it a bit of character I'm dabbing some bits of grey in here just to give it a variety of stonework. Right, to darken that when I touch. Right, now I'm going to um, just darken that colour ever so much. I'm just a little bit to make that a bit darker, just a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Right, yeah, that's a bit better. Surely just to signify the difference, same with this one. A bit slightly darker over this bit. Right, well that's um, just about finished. I was nearly said it's finished. I just looked at the trees, we can't leave them like that, we need to get a bit of shadow under on the right hand side here and underneath the tree, so just going to mix up a dark green again. Let me see how we do this if you want to see it. It's in the colour mixing of greens, um, but it's burnt umber. Let's do it again, <laughs> burnt umber. And a bit of Windsor blue. There we go. Super dark green. I love that colour. And I'm just going to add some bits underneath the, the foliage area. 
and there will be some shadows over on the right hand side to give contrast again darks against lights right that's about it don't want to overdo this I'll do slick turning out quite nicely there and last thing is I'll get a smaller brush just going to put a brown um, the trunks for the trees up into the, the foliage and that should do it. There's another bit of mist, all these um, dark door areas in the barns or the, the buildings. That's it this time. Yep, that's quite good. So we'll just let that dry. So that's the wash part finished. Um, all the greens, stone colours, etc. But you can see um, why, why I'd like to get the pen out again and just add some bits of detail. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'll try and explain it as I go. Uh, the roofs, we need to get more um, definition on some of these slates. So I'm just going to um, put one or two in. Just a bit here. Right, that would do for that one. I'm going to put the odd stone in here as well. Um, I'll put some tiles in here right it's not bad around the, the window I'm going to put a big stone in there hopefully you can see that a bit around there I'm going to make that a stone and there's a bit there that would be quite good. I'm going to make a bit there. Use some of these colours. It's super when you get bits like that. You can just put the pen round them. There's another bit. A bit there. And this one. One there. Right, put some tiles in here, strengthen this up a bit. It's quite good. Uh, put one or two in here, it's a bit bare. that are left are quite nice just to uh, suggest lighter coloured stones and there's one or two there and that's about it now finally just for the grass and the trees I'm just going to put one or two suggestions of 
little tufty bits of grass here. And I'll do there. And I'll do down here. And uh, over on the right and the tree, just zoom out a bit. I'm just going to put one or two tufty bits up there. This here. And the tree itself, I'm just going to uh, carry on with that little squiggly shape that I use to suggest more of leafy parts. And, and I think that's about it. Right, so that's that finished. So just zoom back a touch to let me have a look. Overall, that's not too bad. Just going to uh, darken that grey colour a bit for the roofs that are in the the shade. I'm doing that is um, I want to get the contrast again. Darks and lights, darks and lights. I'll just take that up a bit. Right, that's better. Yeah, so I think that's about it. It looks quite nice. So you can see the way that I use the half and half system. It's up to you to have a go if you feel you want to draw it all in first, fine. Because the applying the washes, the paint is very loose as you've seen. It's, um, it's quite quickly and um, so at the end of the day it's turned out not too bad. I'm sure you'll have a lot of pleasure in having a go at this. Um, and I've got another one, another super cottage um, in the woods which... Uh, I think you'll really enjoy that. So anyway, thanks again for watching and uh, keep painting. Look forward to your comments and how you got on with this one. Thanks again. <laughs>